Our thoughts for the day this week will come from me, Sophie, the curate. Um, They will come from Reverend Stephen Haygate and from Philip Rice. They're all going to be based around the sermon that was preached on Sunday. So um, if you haven't heard that yet, you might want to click through. Um, I'll put the link below. Today, I'm going to be looking at that part in the sermon which asks us to consider what's niggling at us, what's trying to get our attention, that God might be wanting to draw to our attention or that is hindering us because it's just there in the background and we can't really focus on what we are being called to because there are things that we haven't yet attended to. And the passage that came to mind was that in 1 Kings 19 from verse 11. And I'll read it to you now. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. This passage is part of a wider story, obviously, that's important to read as a whole. But just these parts that focus on how God might speak to us, how God spoke to Elijah, and that need to wait, to observe, to listen, to be able to know the difference between what might appear to be from God and what actually is. They're all important aspects of how we might name that niggling feeling inside us and respond to it. So today as we face this day afresh, as we offer our lives and our actions, our words, our hopes and dreams to the Lord, be conscious of what distractions there are around you, of where you're journeying as a whole. There's a lot to pay attention to and to work out and to be prepared to acknowledge when we're seeking out God and what God might be saying to us in this very moment. So I just want to pray for us all today as we go about what we're doing. Let's pray. Lord, There are so many distractions from you in this world. Great and powerful winds, earthquakes, fires, actual and metaphorical. All these disastrous, dramatic events that go on every day, causing trauma and crushing hopes. But Lord, when you speak in that gentle whisper, you call us to action, you call us to reflect on what we're doing and you call us again into relationship with you. So I pray God for each and every person listening and for myself that together we would be prepared to wait on you, that we'd be willing to listen out for those nudges that you give us, those hints that we might otherwise ignore. Help us to be attentive, God, to all that you're doing in this world, to all the people who need a word of kindness, an action that shows love, for those who need a sign of hope. God, would you compel us to be the hands and feet of Christ in your world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.